Hey guys, this is Z here, and uh, today we're going to be um, kind of critiquing someone's gameplay that was sent in. It's from Cool Criminal. Um, go check him out. Uh, basically, what this is is, um, as a lot of people seem to like my tactical gameplay, um, and I don't have uh, any footage left, I thought that I'd be able to talk you through somebody else's footage and kind of show where he plays well or he doesn't play so well. Um, also, I'd like to use this video as a kind of a shout out to. Um, a new band called Deathless. Um, the two songs that are going to be playing are going to be called Angels and Cuts. Uh, the link will be below. Um, I basically came across them on Vimeo. They were asking for a music video to be made. Um, I didn't really have the time scale to do that, but I said I'd promote the music. So I'll be playing the music underneath my talking. I won't have it too loud, but if you like the tracks, um, there's a link to a free album download by them called Effortless, which is really good. So um, we'll play those now and we'll just uh, get into the gameplay. Okay, so we're playing Checkout, uh, Team Deathmatch, uh, I'm actually in this match I believe, and we'll just jump straight into it. He's going to, uh, the first move is his whole team is going to push Snipe, um, because if you want that weapon, get your whole team there, and uh, it's, a, it's a definite, um, basically you're definitely going to get the weapon. And so he makes the push through the smoke, downs him and mantle kicks him so he doesn't waste a bullet killing him. Okay, so if you watch that back, his whole team throws the smoke, definitely he's going to get that uh, power weapon right there. He's going to hard aim him twice, I put a shot on him and he's down and the mantle kick finishes him off and he does a quick reload. Okay, so he's going to pick up the nade off the floor and what he's going to do here is he's going to go back and take control of the, the high area of the map. He lobs his grenade so the, the cog can't push him, which gives him a chance to pick up flame grenades. He doesn't do much with them. But uh, like I say, it's better for your team to have them than their team. So if you watch that again, he throws the grenade and stops the push, and then makes his way to the new grenades. Uh, so he's now had uh, three grenades, and the other enemy team has had zero, which is a good move. They are quite powerful in this game. Now the push, he's going to see the guy in his own, he's going to get flanked. There's quite a lot going on, on in this clip, so I'll uh, replay it. He hard aims him down twice. And he goes on and he pushes ahead for the kill. So he makes that kill there. And he's going to uh, just put a few shots on with the Lancer. Again, he's going to stay on this high area. Maybe pick up grenades, but he doesn't decide. So he's going to check if that bigger launcher has respawned. So he picks it up. And he's going to actually waste a few, which I wouldn't advise. But he does pick up a few kills. So he's going to hit fire the first one, kind of a shot to nothing, and this guy I'm pretty sure he would have died, so it was a slight waste of the uh, digger, but he picks up the nice spawn kill for the double, so in the end it worked out quite well for him. And there's the uh, the broken ledge there that just never seems to work, so we'll watch that again. Blind fires the first one, doesn't really need to, but he does, and he hits the second one, so that cleans up the, the spawn, and we're going to switch spawns now. And as again, these ledges are just horrendous, as you are seeing. So as again, he's got the set of grenades, which are actually quite a big power weapon. The the, the second best weapon on this map, um, I would I would say. He's going to clear out that room in the fire just to let them know he's there. I thought that would have killed him, but he goes ahead and he makes the push and hit fires them both, which will uh, reward him with the two kills because there's no point in their uh, hard aiming from that range. So there's two guys left. It's uh, ten life to two absolutely dominating them and he, he's going to go in here his mate and he's going to go check if the digger's back and he beats him to it so I wouldn't really advise pushing this digger but it's last guy and there's 10 lives so why not he's going to chase him down uh, he's forcing him back into his own spawn so there's nowhere to go and if you watch that again when he fires the digger he instantly rolls out the way so he doesn't get killed which is a smart move because the, you can only travel in straight lines that thing can't snake about so if you jump out the way you'll be safe and he gets finished off where there for the round two minutes 38 round and only how many deaths is that five deaths total on his team so you know the crew's in it so we're going to jump into the second round right now again he's going to go for snipe and i would suggest his whole team go snipe we'll see if that's the case so this time he's going to go in the inside so he can't be flanked there's going to be a lot going on here, so I'll, uh, I'll play this back in slow motion, I think. 
Um, so he gets caught around on the flank and he manages to grab the snipe. Now what happened there was basically if you watch this in slow, if you watch on your right hand side, he hops over and gets hard aimed. And as he flashes up left bumper, you'll actually see a doodle go on the right hand side and flank. There he is. And he jibs him. So it's kind of he's forced him, because he's hard aimed him, he's forced him backwards and he's walked straight to the into Doodle and it's he's got his kill and Criminal's got the snipe, which has all worked out perfectly. Again, he's gonna aim these, there's no point blind firing gears to unless you're trying to go for a montage that has no skill. So uh, he's gonna try and get uh, the vantage point, but first he's gonna pick off this one here. Again, hard aiming out with a retro lantern, not even a hammer burst, so that was pretty pointless of her to do that because you're not going to down someone from that range. He tags him with a snipe and then he decides he's injured, so he out pistols him. If you check someone with a snipe, uh, and by check I mean injure them, then switch to your pistol and just uh, trigger finger them down because it's only going to take a few more bullets and the pistol's very accurate. He's going to miss that lead shot there as it hits uh, the bench. I don't think it should have done, but it did. And he's going to wait this out and get a no scope. Maybe he could have took a bit quicker, but you know, it doesn't matter. He got the kill and it was a nice shot. So he gets jibbed there because he's trying to get another headshot. Not advisable, but he does catch him on the spawn, and that's nice. He's looking for the back to back, and I think that was a headshot, but again, he's just injured him. He's going to try and pistol him down. Now, I would have spotted him there because. I love to spot people on this game, but uh, Criminal didn't. If he had a spotted him, his team would have pretty much had a guaranteed kill as he was injured. And he downs in there with the pistol. Again, what he's just doing is he's, he's just playing this right with a sniper. He's just putting shots on him, he's making sure the enemy team know he's there. He's putting these shots on him and he's getting them down with the pistol. As he's got a lot of support fire. As you can tell, we were kind of running in a pack this game and we were doing pretty well. So he's going to check that snipe ammo again. Uh, it spawns 30 seconds after you've used the, your last bullet. Um, but it's not back yet, so will he take the grenade? He will. I think there's a smart move coming up soon, um, which is a way to get around the retro charge. So we'll see if this coming up now. Again, he's going to check that sniper. It is back, but uh, I decide to have a little go with it. And he hears the scream uh, of the orgasmic Anya. She won't shut up, but the ink grenade takes her down and I rob the kill. Or do I? No, actually. In fact, there was no down on his screen, so I must have checked him with a sniper. So I'll watch that again. The ink goes down, stuns her, and then I hit with a snipe and I get the kill. So we're down to three lives. Again, they've got ten lives left. It's been a real clean display, really. Um, it's a bit too far out of range that, and as you see, he nearly gets caught with his pants down there. But he executes him, and bada boom, it's game over. That was Criminal's gameplay. If you want me to commentate over your gameplay and kind of critique it, then that uh, I will do. Um, tell me if you like the band. If not, tell me if you like music, because uh, I think in my next few videos I'll be doing this and promoting music. Um, so yeah, just drop a like on the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, thanks for commenting, liking and subscribing, uh, it's really helping me out, so I'll see you guys later.